high estrogen is very common it is a hormone imbalance and it is being said that as much as 50 percent of women are affected by this hormone we call high estrogen or estrogen dominance the symptoms are very clear and they are also very common what are they number one you're getting frequent headaches water retention weight gain chest pain or, or breast tenderness, frequent mood swings. And this is just the beginning of these symptoms. So if you're getting any of these symptoms, then be sure, understand that you are dealing with high estrogen. And what better way to address this than through natural cure. So let me give you some tips that will help you reduce the amount of bad estrogen that is being produced in your body. So the first thing you've got to do is stop eating out of plastic contain containers. Ghar mein agar plastic containers rakhe mein hai, kitchen mein hai, fridge mein hai, get rid of them and replace them with glass or metal containers. The second thing you want to do is stop using plastic water bottles, especially when they've been left in heat or consume karte. You see, with plastic containers, they contain compounds that increase the amount of bad estrogens in the body. So you want to replace them as much as possible or inko replace karna ko itna mushkil kaam nahi hai. So you want to do that instantly. The next thing you want to do is stop eating canned foods. Things like chanas and fruits. Lots of these foods come in uh, cans so you want to get rid of them. And again the same thing that these uh, containers contain xenoestrogens which produce bad estrogens in the body. The next thing you want to do is maybe going to shock you but then you have to do it. And what am I talking about? Makeup. You see Makeup ka istamal, obviously it goes without saying everybody has to, women have to wear makeup. But as long as you know that makeup is responsible for estrogen, bad estrogen production, so now you want to start using it responsibly. Mind you, I'm not saying not to use makeup, I'm just saying use it responsibly. So, if you are going to any place, you don't need so much makeup, so don't use so much makeup. You see, when you are at home, then avoid it altogether. So, you get my point. The next thing you want to do is avoid starch, avoid uh, bad starch, which is I call uh, white flour, you know, and most of the bakery foods are made out of uh, this stuff, which will increase bad estrogens in the body. Uh, biscuits, crisps, naan, puri, so you're dealing with high estrogen and you need to stay clear of these foods. Few supplements that you want to uh, Put into your daily routine uh, magnesium about 300 to 500 mg's uh, b12 and folate add these uh, then you also want to uh, cut back on caffeine the the chai and the coffee you need to reduce the number of caffeine and last but not the least cut back on dairy dood ki intake aapko kam karni hoegi now nobody's saying that you should not uh, you should stop having tea it's just that the 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 way you make tea agar aap dood pati pi rahe hain to aapko separate tea leni hai and if you're having uh, some things like uh, you, you see like when you're having milkshakes etc you need to cut back on that as well so there you go these are all natural cures for estrogen dominance and you need to start incorporating them into your lifestyle to get benefits out of this issue.